Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope your days are going good and your lives are going even better. The that's I see that Amal released a new video for their song called uh, Jod, um, Jod, depending on how you want to pronounce it, I guess. Um, it's the last song off of their album. This is more of me checking out the video than it is more me reacting to the song for the first time as generally like recently i'll be go going out for like tons of walks and things like that just to kind of get my mind off shit and just to like get out for a bit and i've been listening to just more it's like just the atmospheric goodness man so hopefully i could do this right on a little bit of justice because i've listened to this album a fair bit already so let's just jump straight into this
that was Mole. Like I said, this was the very last song off the album, so... If you're listening to this and think it sounds good, but don't quite understand... Like, why it goes between bits and bits and bits and bits. Basically, like, the first song that they released from the album was Bruma. And Bruma is the third song off the album, so... First song and second song all build into, into Bruma. And then from Bruma, it goes dark into a more black metal star. And then it slowly goes up to a little bit into a kind of tranquility. And then it ends with with Jod or with Jod. And that's how it goes. And it's just, it's a beautiful concept. Like if you're in like one of those kinds of moods and you just need something very atmospheric and very, very deep and layered and structured. This is a very amazing album to really go into. It's one of those things where I wouldn't recommend listening to this song first. I would recommend listening um, to Bruma first. And then obviously going from Bruma into the rest, of, the rest of the album. Just go one to three until you hit Bruma. Then once you've got to Bruma, it's going to change. Because like it just goes way darker once you go past Bruma. And then it lightens up a little bit. Then it goes into about this and up as... This song is about the death, about longing to be in the grave, about longing to come back within the soil which is why in the video the the lady or the woman was in the soil and um doing the backing singing and like the ending fuses the two different styles that they use in the album it fuses the beginning and it fuses the middle together to become something completely mixed and structured within this very song and it's very beautiful and it's very masterful but if you've never heard the rest of the album you don't realize why it's so masterful and why it's so beautiful if that makes total sense it's one of those things that you have to like listen to the whole album to understand it this is one of those albums where you will listen to you'll start listening to it and then before you realize it you're at the very end song and you don't realize where the rest of the album went because it all just blurs into one as it's one complete piece of music like it's not like an actual made to be complete piece of music but you go through so many different emotions and so many different things of euphoria and depression and death and just all kinds of crazy shit during this album and it's beautiful and it is truly amazing it's one of the best atmospheric albums that i've heard in quite a long time and i need to listen to it more they need to release more and more and more sh um, shit for me to listen to because just having one album by them isn't going to be enough, I don't think. But either way. I hope you guys enjoyed one. I try my own. I didn't really try to analyse it. I tried to give you why it is the way that it is. And why it's so beautiful and amazing and crazy. And I don't know. I don't know how, if I even did this shit justice. But I love this album. I love the song. This is all just... I don't know. It just feels like releasing this specifically is like... Going, going from Bruma to this is a massive jump, if you know what I mean. Like, instead of going from... Because most, uh, most bands do, like, three songs when they release or re-release something, right? So, they do, say, they start with Bruma. Then maybe go into Vacuum or Lambda or something like that. Or Ligament, maybe. And then go into this. And that would have been a perfect release schedule. But either way. Not really up to me, not really my choice. Either way, I'm on fucking awesome album song, etc, etc, etc. Have a wonderful day, evening, or night. And I will catch you guys in the very, very next video. Until then, have an amazing day. Take it easy.